Hi, I'm Lisa Carl. And I'm Lisa Shaughnessy. Welcome to this week's Savvy Quick Tip. Today, we're going to talk about what kind of graphics to use with your social media posts. And this is very important because we all know that you have to use graphics nowadays. But the graphics you use are very important. You can't just slap anything out there. You have to really pay attention to what you're posting. This is becoming my number one pet peeve on social media currently. Yes. <laughs> and Attention, <laughs> rant coming. Yes. So if I'm on Twitter and you say, social media is a great way to reach your customers, okay, don't also put a graphic that says, social media is a great way to reach your customers. And that then put your website. <sighs> right, on it as well. <laughs> because now I've just read the same sentence twice. Okay, you've wasted my time, and nine times out of ten, honestly, Lisa, it's not even worth reading the first time. I hate to say it. Right, and you've clogged up our streams, <sighs> especially Twitter, where it's very fast moving, and I want to get information. I want to scroll through and get the information I want. I don't want to be bogged down by your really big graphic that says social media is a great place to post. And that's in your tweet. So. Just don't do it. I understand that now, nowadays that as a business owner, you're not only running your social media, but now you're becoming a graphic designer and a videographer. We're in the same boat, okay? Lisa and I are not graphic designers either. And when you know we started reading the trends about how graphics grab people and you know the posts get read more, and that's all great. But when you have terrible graphics, unfollow. Yeah, and if you want to use a graphic like that that has text, which is fine, make it useful. Do four to five bullet points of something that people can take away information Absolutely. right away. Mm -hmm. So highlight something. If you want to say social media is a great way to connect with your audience, that could be your tweet, and maybe your graphic shows the top five ways to connect with your audience. That would be perfect, perfect. You know, you don't need to have a graphic with every post that you do. I'd rather see you do a really good quality graphic, which I know takes time, trust me, I know, <laughs> than have a really terrible graphic on every single tweet or every single Facebook post. Right, you're trying to add value for your followers right. and your audience. And like Lisa said, if you don't, they'll just unfollow you and then you've lost a potential customer. Right, it took a while, again, for seeing this over and over again, and once I realized the people who were constantly doing this, I, I have, I've unfollowed a lot of people because of it. It wastes my time, don't do that. Right. <laughs> If you want more information on how to use images in your social media posts, we have a lot of blog posts about it on our site at SavvyDigitalBusiness.com. So if you want to roll over there and check it out, you'll probably get a lot of really great information that will help you in your social media. Absolutely. So join us there and bye for now.